Okay. So I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, we have Crystal on on with us tonight. So again, I just want to say thank you for everyone coming week after week to join me here on Monica S. Martinez Live, where we go live once a week and we educate you. And I just want to make sure I'm in camera's view. Crystal, can you hear me yet? Okay, so we're experiencing technical difficulties with be live. That's great. Well, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and roll with these, with what we got going on, and we're going to figure out why she can't hear me. So I am Monica S. Martinez. I am an author. I am the voice for the sexually repressed. I am a poet. I am the CEO of Tantalizing Productions. Feel free to visit me on any of my sites, um, Monica S. Martinez on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, MonicaSMartinez.com as well. And definitely check out TantalizingProductions.com. Um, first and foremost, you know, week after week, we have to thank our sponsors, so to speak. And our first sponsor we want to thank is Mini Moments, who sent out a bunch of wonderful creams to me. Um, the Body Shea Butter, which I told you guys I used it and it's gone completely. Um, her lavender oil I use, I rub it on my pillow so that I can get some sleep. And for those of you who are logged on to YouTube, um, definitely come over to Facebook. I mean, I have the YouTube running as well if you guys want to check me out on that side because I think that on YouTube you get to see more of me, so to speak. Crystal, can you hear me yet? And there's no response. So I'm assuming she can't hear me. Um, Dillis, can you let me know whether or not you can hear me? Or you guys online, can you let me know that you're hearing me nice, loud, and clear? So I'm not, let's see. Hmm. Uh, and then she's going to refresh again. Um, Crystal, can you hear us yet? All right, so I'm assuming she can't hear because she's not responding to me. Um, anyway, if it's not YouTube, it's Facebook, and week after week we're dealing with it, and yes, I am stressing. Can you see it in my face? So annoying. Uh, Crystal, can you hear me, Crystal? All right, so I guess Crystal can't hear me, but all right, whatever. We're just going to go ahead and see if we're doing this correctly. Let me just copy this link. Well, I know that you guys are, some guys are on, you guys are on because I see that we have viewers. And I also, like I've mentioned, I'm on, I'm also on um, YouTube posting live. So back to what I was saying. Um, okay, I just got a text saying someone hears me, so it's, we're not sure what the deal is on that and there with Crystal. So hopefully we'll find out. Oh my God. Let's see what's going on. I don't know. Anyway. All right, Dillis is inviting folks. Great, thank you. Back to what I was saying. We want to thank Mini Moments for being a sponsor of the Monica S. Martinez Live TV. So visit her at minimoments.com. 
and you know join her hi can you hear me crystal because i hear you hello crystal can you hear me oh it's so aggravating guys i'm telling you um anyway back to what i was saying Another uh, sponsor that we want to thank is GNA.com for these amazing headsets here. And of course, my favorite color because those are the color of my logo. So we want to thank GNA.com. Visit his Facebook page, GNA, and um, check out the headsets. They're awesome. They are are gaming headphones but i use them for skype i use them to chat on my phone the noise uh, reduction sound is totally amazing so gna.com so we want to thank you guys for being a part of the monica s martinez tv live so guys we had an event um last week at casa lounge for erotic rendezvous if you missed it, it sucks to be you because it was an awesome event. And we want to thank all those who came out, The Essence, for hosting the event for us. Thank you. And on June 29th, Tantalizing Productions will be in Brooklyn. Check out my Facebook for that invite. So June 29th, Brooklyn, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Check us out. So if you are watching from YouTube, yay. Hi, and um, you know, definitely move over to Facebook so that you can hear the interview. Otherwise, you'll just be hearing one side, or maybe you will hear her. I'm not sure how it works, but so I know I got viewers on YouTube and I got viewers here on the live. All right, so we invited Crystal back. Um, she was on our first show, and she hosts. She is the owner of Curvy Girl. Can you hear me yet? You can hear me. Okay, but I still can't hear you, Crystal. So, oh, hi. Oh, yes, Evelyn. No, I won't let it stress me. Okay, all the comments are coming in slowly, and I'm sorry. And guys, I have got to, you know, pay attention to my interview and not let the ADD kick in over here on this side where I'm like looking uh comments hi alan hi evelyn hi jackie mm -hmm. so as soon as crystal gets it together we will jump on an interview with her again and like i said she was here for our first uh showcase uh she and uh move the hair out of your face malini says i'm sorry but you know that's my signature boo um so she was here for our first launch of the Monica S. Martinez TV, and she has a um, lingerie for women, you know, the big girls. And as she still can't hear me, because I mean, I still can't hear her. And she's just amazing, and her energy is just great. So as soon as we can get her to talk, that would be good. Dillis, maybe have her join me on YouTube at this point. Um, I can give you the link for the YouTube because we have viewers over there as well. So let me um, let me look up that link. Guys, if you want to, let me see. All right, let's see if we could get her on YouTube first before I'm talking all this crap. And then that's not even going to be the case. So hold on, guys. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's get this in here. My name is messaging me. Hold on. All right. One second. All right. Crystal? Can you hear me, Crystal? Um, 
Let's see if we can get her right there. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if it's be, be live or if it's it's just my connection. Who knows at this point? Whatever. I'm so over YouTube. I'm so over be live <laughs> because this is just getting ridiculous. Anyway, as you guys know, Tantalizing Productions hosts this. We have we host adult novelty parties where we come, we educate you on how to keep the spice in your relationship, how to keep the spice in your bedroom. We also now offer you guys as clients the Happy Cummings package. It's called the Tri-Monthly Package, where you get, you get a box quarterly, and in that box there are adult novelties to help you spice up your relationship. And I know Imalia told me I shouldn't drink when I am on TV or doing the live video, but honestly, I have to because it's hot. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I'm gonna plug this, I'm gonna plug this in and see if this is any better. Okay. How's the sound? You still sound the same. I can hear you. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go away from there. Oh, um, Malami said okay. something on her end. So you were having technical difficulties, and technically it wasn't me. All right. Because I was just about to be over be live and YouTube all together. All right. I'm gonna share with my audience that we're on. Okay. And so we're on your page on live. Yes. Well, hi, hi, nice to see you. You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I um, I washed my hair. <laughs> so is your connection not good? Dilla, she's on. Oh, um, Evelyn says she can't hear you. Huh. Well, um... I I can hear you, so well. I, I can hear you. Too. I don't know. Okay. I we have a cable modem, so it's pretty fast. Yeah, um, you're you just disappeared from my computer. Like I don't see you live anymore. Do you see? I'm on Google Hangouts. Are you on Google Hangouts? Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, there you go. So you're on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> So, all right. So you took out, you took yourself out of live. Yeah, all because right, it was, it was, it was making a, a like an echo. Okay. Um. All right. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work when we're. On. All right. Let me see. Guys on live. What do I do, Dillis? Do I send everyone back over to? Viewers can't hear her. I know, Emalia, we're having difficulties. Guys, can I ask that you come over to YouTube as well? Um, Google Hangouts. Monica S. Martinez Live TV. You can join us there. We'll be here on Facebook as well. I'm going to keep both events going at this point. So, Crystal. Yes, yes yeah. it's a pleasure to have you back here joining us. Thank you. Uh, you Thanks for having that. me. Okay, just sent her the link. Let me know if she logs on. You can do that. Um, okay, so guys, I got Crystal on YouTube, uh, Google Hangout. So if you want to check her out there, come visit us there. I'm going to keep the live video going here on Facebook. No, no, I'm not logging out of Facebook um, Live, Dilla. So if you want to send the link to the YouTube, we can do that as well. I'm just going to keep everything opened at this point because YouTube is weird too. So I don't, you know, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I think I'm over these two things, people. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's not your fault. I mean, it's, if it's not one thing, it's another. And it's like driving me 
literally insane. Like I gotta be on YouTube, I'm on Facebook, it's crazy. But before I get to you um, and your beautiful self, I'm just really excited about having you back on. So I wanna say thank you for joining us again. My pleasure, thank you for having me. It, it, it's just your energy was amazing so I was like we have to have like a full hour of her so a lot of the women went crazy about you and everything about what you were saying as far as you know the big girls the lingerie the toys so thank you thank you for joining us again totally my pleasure thanks for having me so if you will if you don't mind if you could tell our viewers um, who you are, what you do, sure, and your movement, pretty please. Uh, so yeah, ow, I just stubbed my toe. <laughs> um, so my business is called Curvy Girl Lingerie, and our movement is something that I, I feel very passionate about, which is maybe that's what came across last time we spoke, which is sexy is for everybody. Everybody, everybody. So um, it doesn't matter how large or small you are, your body can still create tons and tons of pleasure. And um, I, I just think it's so frustrating to, that there's never any curvy, sexy girls in the media, very few. And um, I think the world's ready for us. Absolutely. Sexy is a state of mind, not a, a size. Yeah, you're never too big or too old to have lots of pleasure, but people like to make you think that sex is for young people. And honestly, sex is wasted on young people. I mean, it doesn't get really good till you get like your 30s or 40s, and soon it'll be my 50s, and I can't wait because I heard it gets really good for women in your 50s. Well, I just think that sex is good just in general. Um, I never want to say that it was wasted in my 20s because, well, maybe it was, actually. Maybe it was. If, if I have to think about it, you're probably right. I didn't, I didn't experience an orgasm until I was in my 30s. So, wow, wow. yeah, I think that you are correct on that, that it is wasted on, um, you know, the 20s and that it does get enjoyable when we become older so. yeah, and you know first of all i want to come back to that because i want to hear how you had your first orgasm but i think you can agree with me that pretty much any time you see any sexual situation in the media tv show or movie there's not fat people involved there's always thin beautiful people right because god forbid someone of size has a leading role as the main character that's going to be a sexual being this doesn't happen but i want to know how you had your first orgasm <laughs> well, um, I, you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about that right now because I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. Um, about oh, my, okay. yeah, about my first, um, you know, marriage and stuff like that. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it, you know, sex wasn't supposed to be pleasurable, you know, for me. Um, but oh. being that I became sexually liberated in my thirties and, you know, it was a different, awesome. yeah, it was a different, um, state of mind at that point for me where I was able yeah. to enjoy it. And once you have your safe zone, you're able to let loose, so to speak, and just kind of uh, enjoy all the pleasure that comes with it. So, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, but I guess what I was, what I was wondering is, was it with a person? Was it with your hand or was it with a toy? Oh no, it was, it was with my husband <laughs> at the time. Oh, yeah. great. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So, um, <laughs> and how, how long have you been educating people about sex toys, Monica? Um, I've been educating since I am, what, 32 and I'm 48. <laughs> Okay, cool. And I just turned 49. I've been, I've been doing this for about 15 years myself. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I think that it, it, it just, it, it's good. I promised to be the voice for the sexually repressed. And that says, you know, hey, I can, I can, you know, say the things that women think, but are still scared to say in a sense, because they feel, you know, sex is still a taboo, unfortunately. I know. It's so crazy. <laughs> I mean, we all got here the exact same way. I know. Why is that a taboo? That? Our parents. All of us. 
Yeah, that's how it happens. That's how but it people happens. People are so repressed. But it's so silly to me. I just don't even get it. And like, I even have friends that get embarrassed talking about sex. I'm like, you're an adult woman or adult man. What's embarrassing about this? We all do it. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, we were conditioned to just be, you know, like, hey, sex is the only, the only time you talk about sex is like in your bedroom or you don't talk about it at all, yeah. which is crazy because yeah. we should talk about it. We should be educating these women on how to achieve the best orgasm there is. Hell yeah. You know, whether, whether we're big, whether we're small, whatever. You know, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that if, if people talk more about it and the more open we become, the better of an understanding we can have, you know? Yeah, for so, sure. We, do, we, we, we find at my store, because I own a lingerie store, we focus mostly on people of size. And um, we hear from a lot of women, you know, that say, oh, well, you know, I, I still haven't had an orgasm or, you know, I don't know how to have one. I don't know how to masturbate. I've never masturbated. I'm like, Oh my God, if I have 30 seconds at home alone, I masturbate. I mean, I just, <laughs> I'm so excited to have time home alone, you know, like, yeah, where's my womanizer or whatever, my bullet. But, um, <laughs> you, I guess you know, this, people are so, so repressed sexually because of the way they were brought up, their religion or all that, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but even, even in the Bible, they were having sex. So A lot like, of them. <laughs> Exactly. So I'm not sure, you know, why people get so uptight when when this subject is brought up it, it it just drives me insane yeah. but i mean that's nor here or there a lot of women that i meet and a lot of women that i know also were kind of taught to be a good girl so you know never um never asking for what i need um worrying about other people's needs um worrying about our partner's needs i gotta make him happy keep him satisfied, make sure he doesn't go cheat on somebody else. So I got to do the deed. And um, it's like the duty is their wifely duty. And I'm like, Oh hell no, it's all about you and your pleasure and how beautiful and sexy and gorgeous and all those endorphins make you feel. Absolutely. I mean, um, yeah, that whole misconception of those things is it, it boggles my mind but that's for a whole nother show um mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about you know keeping them satisfied and how to keep them from cheating we we're that's a whole different show we'll, we'll do that oh, yeah show, you know maybe you can join me on <laughs> yeah. that show we'll talk about sure. you know the myths behind the sex and the cheating because if he's gonna sure. cheat, he's gonna cheat anyway um, yeah. but you know, let's, let's get to the happy stuff. Um, you know, okay. a after talking to you, we went on this search for the womanizer. Oh. Um, and unfortunately my wholesaler doesn't sell it. So I was like bent out of shape. So you and I need to talk <laughs> about that on the side sure. yeah, yeah. because I definitely for want to. Sure. I definitely want to um, introduce that to some of the clients because you spoke so highly of it. But first, you know, I have to try it. You know, I got to speak about what I Yeah, so most of my suppliers don't carry it either. There's just one uh, supplier in Los Angeles that carries it. So it's, it's also, for me, difficult to get. But I'm a big fan, and I think it's kind of a game changer because it does um, – for a lot of women have a hard time finding their clitoris. A lot of women have a hard time ha having orgasm. I mean, it does, it just jumps right onto your clitoris and it sucks and vibrates at the same time. And it's just like, oh, Lord, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's like, that's a, oh, my God, toy. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's like, like, like I was, oh, my God. Yeah. I, I, I have every sex toy known to man, literally, like, I have them all. And um, I think that's the first toy I've ever gotten horny for. Like, I'll be at work and I'll be like, oh, womanizer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I want to go home and go to my home to my womanizer. It's that that good. And they have like two levels now. They have a womanizer plus, which is extra long. Mm -hmm. People have a hard time reaching their clitoris. And then they also have the pro, which is a like $149 retail, which is much more affordable for people. The plus one is two two forty nine. So that's a lot of money. Yeah. Um my assistant was looking for it and we like I said, it was just like 
almost virtually impossible to get it. So hopefully, yeah. you know, the wholesalers will pick up on it and then they will offer it to us so that we can then sell it out to, yeah. you know, our clients. Because right now, like, I hope so. yeah. Uh, hi, Hope. I, I, there's people commenting. Guys, if I missed your comments, I apologize in advance. Hi, Raul. Hi, Nicole. And Warren, I know that you were watching last week and I wasn't able to answer any of your questions, so I truly apologize. If you guys have questions for Crystal, please feel free to go ahead, jump up, and I'll grab a few of these questions so that we can give it to her. I know Evelyn commented. Um, a woman of size is always in my movie. Oh, nice. Hi, Helen. You, so did you hear that? So they may not be on the screen. She's saying that there's one in her home every day. Yeah, awesome. So um, I, I really want to know more about the um, Curvy Girl. Sure. So we focus on lingerie for people who are size 12 and larger, um, up to like size 26, 28, 30. And it's funny, one of my girlfriends was saying to me the other day, we're having cocktails, and she's like, I wish you would carry straight sizes like her size, which is like about a size eight. And I was like, you know, you could buy lingerie anywhere. Mm -hmm. Kmart, Target, Kohl's, Macy's, Nordstrom's. I can't. And I want to just stay focused on this niche because we are so underserved as women of size. You know, like when I go to an event where there's a bunch of fat girls, we're all wearing the same damn clothes because there's like, three stores where we can shop lane bryant and macy's so i mean when you go to an event you're like oh hey you know i have that outfit because that's only that's the only places we can shop and it's just and it's even worse with lingerie and sexy stuff and so it's my market right is really to focus on that 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 clientele the underserved women of size <laughs> Nice. And, and, you know, we're grateful that you're able to do that because you're right. Why, why go to a size eight? Because you're right. People of size eight can find <laughs> lingerie anywhere. I totally agree with you. I totally agree that what you're doing is just super amazing for the bigger women. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, um, I talk about this a lot in interviews, but when I go to my mall, I live in an area that's, you know, I live in Silicon Valley, so we're talking about the home of Facebook and Google and Oracle. And when I go to my favorite mall, there's be 150 stores where people can buy clothes. There's three stores where I can buy clothes. So uh, we're we're pretty underserved, and what, for the most part, women of size have money they want to spend, but there's just nowhere to spend it. There's very few places to spend it. Yeah, and that blows. So Hope is asking, you know, um, what our topic is tonight, and Nicole is asking who I'm chatting with. So guys, if you want to move over to the YouTube channel, you can see Crystal live with me. We are on Monica S. Martinez TV on Google Hangouts YouTube. So feel free to jump over there from Facebook, guys, if um, you can't see Crystal or you can't hear her. Crystal is the owner of Curvy girl lingerie and her facebook page is curvy girl curvy girl inc on facebook and then curvy girl lingerie on instagram okay curvy girl inc on facebook and curvy girl lingerie on instagram was that instagram, instagram, instagram yeah, yeah. okay yep. so guys um definitely check crystal out and jump over if you can come over to um youtube from facebook live pretty please because we were having issues with crystal on the live channel there on facebook so i guess this is going to be an alternating thing where we go from facebook to youtube it sucks let me just tell you that because <laughs> the clients don't know where to go so, Crystal, I want to I wanna have a little bit of fun with you because Tantalizing sure. Productions, we offer this thing called the Tri-Monthly Club, and um, we, we talk about happy comings. So, oh, thank you, Delicia. Yeah, I love you. I love you. So, yeah, we just had some T-shirts made, and um, they're awesome. So, let me just show you them really quickly. So. You see that? I love it. Happy yeah. evening. Guys, so check awesome. that out. We have t-shirts. We have them in white, black, and pink. 
And look what I also did. We did the panel. How cute, cherries. They love it. Isn't that cute? So guys, Adorable. if you're, you know, if you are interested in getting this, feel free to, this is the tank top. Feel free to um, hit me up via Facebook. Um, Crystal, are you offering like any promotional things? You have any events coming up that we want to tell? We'll have our annual, fifth annual fashion show in October here in San Jose. And then um, we can do like a 20% off coupon code. We can create a code for you guys. So I can create a code like, um, we'll call it Monica Live, but I won't, I'll opt to create it after this show. Okay, great. Thank you. So guys, if you heard that, Crystal is going to create a 20% coupon um, for us and you can shop with her, Curvy Girl Inc. And yeah, show her some love, lady. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that. and uh, and I'll, we always love to keep in touch with everybody on Facebook. We have a great community there, and we talk a lot about issues related to being a person of size. You know, like um, flying on an airplane, where to shop, fashion, how things fit, um, eating in restaurants, going to the doctor—all those things that are sometimes difficult to do when you're a person of size. We we catch a lot of shit out there in the world when we're walking around you know, being and doing our thing. Sometimes we catch a lot of hell for that. So we, we talk about that on my Facebook page. It's, it's more like a community. And that's, that's awesome because it's also like a support group as well. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people email me, especially via my blog, Kirby Girl Inc. Um, there's a place that says Ask Crystal and they can send in a question and they can send in anonymously so that I can mm -hmm. ask it on my Facebook page. And people ask all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> Give us an example of some of the questions that they are asking you. Usually, like, the ones that are super crazy are, like, from the men, and they want their wives to, you know, start swinging with them or whatever, and, you know, how can they talk her into it? But I guess the things that are the most kind of not so lighthearted, but very, it's very sad for me a lot is just, women who don't love themselves who write me and say, you know, I don't understand. How can you and all your customers love yourself so much? I'm so fat and disgusting. And uh, I don't, how do you guys get that confidence? You know, and that, that always breaks my heart. Sorry, I'm getting choked up because I just think like, it's so, the world is so mean. It's got so many women convinced that they're not beautiful and um, it's just not true. And if, if you want a partner, I promise you there's somebody out there for you. Um, I know thousands and thousands of men that are into curvy girls and you're not fat. You're not disgusting. You're just you. And just, I don't know. It's, it's very, it's sometimes it breaks my heart, you know, that the emails that come in, but then lots of fun stuff, you know, things like I'm looking for go-go boots in a white calf, or I'm looking for thigh high boots for my dominatrix outfit in a size 13 and fun stuff like that. And that, you know, that's pretty awesome. I mean, and it breaks my heart to hear that women don't love themselves yeah. either. Um, yeah. Because then we have, we have, you know, a generation of women who, who settle for things that they don't have to settle for. No, no settling. I wrote a blog on the um, Huffington Post called uh, Kirby Girls Do Not Settle. A lot of times when you're a person of size, um, people try to convince you that you're just lucky if anybody shows you any kind of romantic or sexual interest. Mm -hmm. hell, hell no. No. And there's people out there that do prey on women of size because they think, oh, they have low self-esteem. That's an easy target. Right. I don't play games. I mean, you could not possibly afford me, dude. Like, don't even <laughs> think about it. Like, I was, I love sex so much. I love having a lot of sex. Personally, I like one partner, but um, I it's really hard to get me in bed, you know, and once you do, it's on, but I, I'm not easy. I know people think, Oh, she's fat. She sells sex toys. She's probably just going to, you know, take whatever comes her way. Hell no. No. Well, not I this think that's, that's just the misconception in this business that we are in because, you know, <laughs> I mean, hello. People, right. are, you know, have that misconception about yeah. Monica. You know, this is what yeah. she does, so she must be a freak. She'd be willing, you know, to do whatever and with whoever. And no, that's not the case. Sorry. Mm. No. Nope. Very no. picky. Very Me picky. too. And everybody should be. You know, we should all be picky. And um, 
look, I know this whole thing about not loving ourselves is not just, you know, women of size. I know this happens for women of all sizes, but I just happen to hear from people of size who say, you know, I don't understand. How do you walk out in the world with all that confidence? And I'm like, I, why, why, why wouldn't I? I, I? I'm a good person. You know, what, what else do you need to be? That's all Absolutely. I need to know. Yeah, right. But I know it takes a lot. People need to be like hit over the head with it a million times. You're perfect. You're beautiful. You're perfect. And um, it's, it's tricky because we get a lot of messages during the day that we're not, we're, you know, we don't have six pack abs and whatever it is that people say about us. But honestly, most people, um, I don't know about you, but I've never been in a romantic relationship with somebody that I was only attracted to them because of their body. I think most people fall, most people fall in love with a human, right? The person. Right. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be. But, you know, a lot of people are superficial. Sure. So, yeah. of course, you know, they'll go by the standards of, you know, what, what the right size woman is supposed to be. And yeah. it's a joke because that's, that's not the reality reality of it. I mean, here we, we live in a generation where, you know, the women are fixing themselves to look a certain way. You know, we, we can't all look like a Kardashian, you know, I mean, it's just, we need to have some variety in the world. Absolutely. I, I, I agree with you. Um, you know, listen, I, I'm okay with women doing, you know, plastic yeah. surgery to a certain extent. Sure. You know, um, but it's getting to the point where, yeah, we're going to have people that look exactly alike at some point. It's, yeah. I it's mean, the, the, the Kardashians are beautiful, but we can't all look like them, you know, like it's supposed to be some difference between, between us. But yeah, anyway, I, it's cool. It's a cool, it's a cool thing that, you know, having this store and, and talking to all these people, it's really it's very it's very enriching for me you know it's very satisfying it's it's a lot of fun but also it's it's it can be very emotional right no i i mean i get it but let's let's, let's just bring up the notch and just be a little more happier i want i want to sure. you know talk about like all the fun stuff that you you know, you do for your clients and, sure. you know, I want to hear some of the stories about what, what happens when someone walks into your facility and oh, you yeah. know, I want to know the energy. I want to know the energy level when it, when that takes place. You know, what's really cute is when men come into my store. Um, have you ever been to Disneyland with kids? Mm -hmm. That's what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> when right. the guys come in there, they're just like, babe, get this, babe, get that, get this one too, get this one. And they're like pulling stuff from the walls and they want their wives or their girlfriends to try everything on and, and their wives are like, you know, oh, okay, okay. Like they're so hyper, like a little kid at Disneyland. They just don't, they don't even know where to look. <laughs> it's adorable. But like, how, how sweet is that, right? That you, you go shopping with your partner and they can't wait to see you every single thing that's there. That's so fun for us. We love when couples come and shop together. And of course, we get those people that um, are part of poly, uh, poly pod, as they call it. So there'll be like one guy and two women. That's always interesting to hear. You know, um, sometimes they want to all have matching lingerie. Sometimes they want it to be different. And um, we have people that, you know, go to like uh, gangbang parties and there'll be like one guy and like four or five girls. And they, we notice the kinky people like to really tell us when they're kinky. They, they want us to know what's going on. So we're like, okay, we don't judge. Like you do whatever you want. As long as everybody's being honest and there's consent and everybody's being safe. I don't care what you do as long as there's no kids or animals involved. But um, exactly. <laughs> I would say, <laughs> yeah, keep your family out of it too. It's probably a good idea, but mm -hmm. whatever. But so yeah, people, the kinky people love to tell us how kinky they are and what they're up to and, you know, all these parties that they go to and stuff. And we're just like, that's awesome. That's great. And I'm happy that they feel so comfortable to tell us all this stuff. I feel very privileged. And that's awesome. Um, yeah, I have a clientele where, you know, they just go ahead and they just give you all this information that's going on in their lives. And, you know, yeah. you, you try to guide them through it all. And, you know, as long as, like you said, as long as there's consent, as long as there's protection involved and it doesn't involve children or animals, cool. Do what you want. Do it with who you exactly. know. 
um, you know, as long as you maintain, you know, a level of respect and you love yourself, then I mean, it is what it is, right? Yeah. We get a lot of um, a lot of people that are in the kinky because we live in the Bay Area, so there's a lot of kinky people here, a lot of kinky groups, a lot of clubs and dungeons and things like that. So we get to hear it all. Nice, very nice. Might I'm have sure to come you. visit. I might yeah. have to come visit. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of freaky people in the Bay Area. There's a, there's so many people in the Bay Area, like like the Los Angeles area. You know, there's just people everywhere, and there's something for everybody here. Excellent. I mean, I'm, I might have to come visit. I'm, I'm thinking maybe, you know, just to do some research. You know, uh, one thing that I've noticed about the kinky community is that kinky people are very body friendly. They're very body positive, And they're mm -hmm. more like, what is making you tick? Like, what turns you on? That gets them excited. So they don't really care so much about how you look, but what's, mm -hmm. what's your, what is your kink? Yeah. If you have the same kink as them, they're into you. That's kind of cool. That is cool. So do you have any fetishes? Me, no, but um, I have been with men that do, and I don't know if you've ever been with somebody who has a foot fetish, but that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is <laughs> When someone awesome. wants to worship your feet, hello. Especially, I'm a big girl, man. My feet, my dogs are tired at the end of the day. I need some worship. Yeah, well, talking about that, you know, I have to do the shoe of the day. I am a shoe lover. Oh, cool. so, um, awesome. Yeah, we have to do the shoe of the day. But before I do the shoe of the day, let, let everyone know where they can reach you, where sure. they can find you. Okay, sure. So uh, my, my blog is curvygirlinc.com. And then from there, you can launch into my website that has all of our products. If you want to ask me any questions, you can just push the button that says Ask Crystal and um, push that button and write your question. And you can do it anonymously if you want to. And um, our website, like I said, I'll create a code that's called Monica Live for 20% off after this interview. And we'll just, keep, we'll just make it valid all the time. If any, of you, any of you guys want to try the Womanizer or any of our lingerie, email me and ask me questions about sizing for the lingerie. You're always welcome to email us at curvygirlinc at gmail or call us at the store. We make this offer all the time. Call us. Nobody calls. Like, just call us because, you know, buying, buying lingerie is tricky and curvy bodies are hard to fit. So I'm like, just give us a ring. And then everybody's so shy. They don't want to call. But um, we're happy to answer emails about sizing and give us a call at the store and we'll talk with you about sizing there too. And also, if you have some stuff you want to talk about, you know, like any kind of sexual dysfunction or just shit going on in your life or your self-esteem, we're happy to chat about that with you either via email or phone as well. Excellent. Um, that is like an awesome movement. And Crystal, I, I apologize again for having to push the interview over back to YouTube oh, as no opposed worries. to being on Facebook Live. I mean, at, at, at some point, we'll get it together and figure out which is really the better of the two. If it's not one acting up, it's the other. And unfortunately, you know, we have to move around like this and we're kind of rolling with the punches. That's so okay. I definitely I enjoy your, your energy and I thank you, you know, for coming on again and giving, giving us you. Oh, my, my pleasure. And I want to see the shoe. Oh yes. I'm going to do the shoe of the day. Let's see if we can handle this. Let's see. All right. Ooh, I have to I have to move everything and then I have to move the computer. So let's see. Just let's see if we can do this, guys. All right. Can you see them? Oh, those are cute. Aren't they adorable? Really oh. cute. Yeah. So that's the shoe of the day. I don't want to go too fast because then I gotta hear mouths about how. I didn't stay long on the shoe. It was too quick. Could you see the colors in the shoe, Crystal? Yeah, it looks like pink, white, and black, and then clear heel. Yeah, it's um, a gold heel, and it's red, black, and white, strappy. Can you see Cute. that? Thank uh, you. Yeah. We, we, have, um, we can definitely tell when the men come in our store that are the, the foot guys because they stare a lot at our feet, and they'll say something like, Oh, you don't have to put your shoes back on because we often were barefoot and they'll be like, oh no, just leave your shoes off. We're like, no, we're going to put our shoes on now because guys that are, guys that are into feet are really into feet. 
Yeah, I know. I I remember doing uh, an expo um, here in New York when the sex expo came. I think it, it had been a while before it was here and then it showed up here. And I went and I had a booth and I remember, I, you know, because I'm, I'm a heel girl. So um, I remember a guy coming over and he was just like, oh, you have the most beautiful feet in the world. And I was just like, okay, thank you. <laughs> and, um, and then he was like, would you mind if I touch them? And I'm like, you're a stranger. You are not touching me. At first I thought it was like, well, what the hell is this? You know? <laughs> but um, once you get introduced to it correctly, like the best thing on earth. So yeah, guys, if you have a foot fetish, definitely check out Monica S. Martinez. We do the shoe of the day. I love showing my feet. I love it. Hell yeah, that's great. Really, and you do have gorgeous feet and gorgeous legs. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> well, you're beautiful. Thanks for having me again. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you coming on, but don't go nowhere because, you know, we want to talk. I want to see if you got some of these items sure. that I want to talk to um, our clients about. So the first one I'm going to put on is called the massage glove. Let me know if you guys carry that. That's the fuku. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Fuku oku. Yeah. And can you hear it, guys? Can you hear that vibration? So, do you carry this? No, uh, uh Okay, so this I used actually, to. It, it's great. It is like the best thing for um, a nice massage, and you can do this in the water because it's waterproof. It's great for doggy style because, you know, he can grab your hair, and then he can come around in the front with the glove and, you know, take that down and visit places because it sends off 100,000 different stimulants, so... Wow. wow. Guys, check that out. Tantalizing Productions, check it out. So are you into whips, Crystal? Uh, a little bit. I like the floggers. I mean, like the uh, little crops. The, oh, like these? Hold on. Yes, I like those. Yeah. You like these? Yep. I feel like these sting just a little bit. Just, I mean, just a nice little sting. Yep. Well, if you get your endorphins. If you get your endorphins going, you, it feels really good. And sometimes I like it a little bit slapped on my uh, vulva and my clitoris. Oh, yeah. That's actually really good, too, guys. So check that out. We have those. Crystal has those. Uh, do you have those? Yes. Yes. We have a few. Yeah. Okay. But my favorite is going Ooh. to be the butter leather. Because wow. this. It's soft, so it doesn't, you know, sting as much. So I, I'm sure you guys can't obviously see how light this is, but this is one of the um, toys that I got in, uh, where was this, Canada, um, the sex show in Canada. Have you been? Yeah. Have yeah. you been to any of those no, shows? No, I, I, I just go to the ILS show in Vegas each year. Oh, okay, because you don't even visit Exotica when it goes to California? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I go when I can. I haven't in a couple of years because I've been yeah. just dealing with other stuff. But we right. have so many amazing toys. So, you know, we educate women on all of this stuff. But, again, if you could just tell everybody where they can find you, and then sure. I'll, I'll let you go ahead and, you know. Yeah, that um, that buttery leather flogger was gorgeous. That's really pretty. Um, so yeah, just, again, it's just curvygirlinc.com. So just curvygirlinc.com. And same thing on Facebook, facebook.com slash curvygirlinc. And yeah, we talk about sex toys there. And we talk about uh, lingerie and how lingerie leads to sex. So, you know, I always tell people it's, it's definitely a not safe for work kind of page. Um, but if you're just using your phone at work, it's safe. <laughs> right, nice. just don't use your computer. <laughs> nice. Thank so, you so much, and thank you to Dillis too. Oh, thank any questions? Thank you so much for coming back on with us and stuff. So everybody is Anytime. still saying hello to you. So um, they're really happy that you showed up here. So I, I want to thank you for you know joining us and you know just spending time with us again. And we would love 
for you to come back when when we really get all of this situated uh whether yeah, I mean, maybe one like, day, uh, monica maybe one day we could just take a half an hour and do some testing so we could like yeah, I would love know, to look we we tested this and then the thing with the facebook is that you in order for you to test it um you have to sign on to that link and whatnot but we it's just been everything if it, it, it it's just annoying it's becoming annoying because i'm not sure where we're going to be what you know where we're going and stuff like yeah. that so because i want to i want to be able to do that too i didn't know there's a piece of middleware that we have to like the be live or whatever Mm -hmm. I didn't know we had to do that. So um, I would love to see if there's other, maybe there's other products out there too. But if you guys want to do some testing someday, let me know. I'd love to help. Absolutely. And I think that, um, I think we can go live on Facebook without be live. And I think I'm almost positive. I read that somewhere where you can go live and then tap on, like say if you, you showed up, I can tap onto your picture and then we can have the side by side broadcast. So I'm going to So there's this that. thing called to have it's called a live contributor and mm -hmm. I can add people to my page and then they can be they can do their own live video but I haven't mm -hmm. tried to do this split screen but I know some people that do that so I'm going to ask them how they do it. Yeah, I think I think I read something up on that and I'm going to look into that too or have Dillis um you know how about looking for that. Okay. But we appreciate your time awesome. and everything. Thank so. you. Thank you for coming. Anytime. Thanks, Monica. Have a great evening. You too, and have happy comings always. Always. Same to you. Thank you. Have a good Bye. night, Crystal. Guys, I want to thank you for joining us again on um, Facebook Live and YouTube Live. And I'm sorry that we had to move things over yet again due to technical difficulties, but I have both both options here. We have the Facebook Live running and I have the Facebook, I mean, Facebook and YouTube running at the same time. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your support and join us again. We're here every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. And next week we will be on Facebook Live. We're going to figure this out. DeAndre, I'm sorry I didn't say hi to you or Patricia. Hello. I apologize for that because these comments are coming in and I can't see them and stay on the YouTube knowing what's going on on both ends here. So again, we apologize for the issues that we are having tonight. So thank you for joining us and a quick shout out to Taino Inc. Again, once again, for making our t-shirts, the tantalizing productions happy comings because we're all about happy comings and making sure that people leave with a smile and yes he made some panties so we'll show you that again and we'll show you that so thank you guys vessels get sex wasted bye